Hey, what's up ladies and gents? It's K7. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add your own emotes. Now, the steps are pretty simple and pretty easy to do. And the only thing you have to do is follow along with this tutorial. So just sit back and relax. Enjoy. Okay, first off, I want to let you guys know that this tutorial will only consist of showing you how to add animations or emotes, should I say, and not create your own. I will be doing a tutorial on that next week, so stay tuned for that. So you'll have emotes for now. If you want to find out how to do all types of other good stuff with VR Chat, you can check out the playlist down in the description which I've left links so you can check that out. It'll show you how to decimate and do lots of other cool stuff. And it'll even show you how to get started with VRChat if you're new to VRChat. So you can click the link in the top right hand corner of the screen and that'll take you to where you need to go. But as far as this tutorial is concerned, well, I guess now we can get started. So the first thing you're gonna be needing for this is of course the emotes of which I've left for you down in the links in the description. You'll also need the VRC SDK so that you'll be able to add the animations to your avatar. Those links are also down in the description. It's a special VRC SDK that I created for those of you who are having problems with the VRC SDK. So what you'll want to do is open up Unity. Once you open up Unity, you want to drag the VRC SDK folder and the plugins folder into the assets area of your Unity project simultaneously. If you don't already have a project already pre-made, you'll only need to do this if you're starting a new Unity project. For those of you who already have projects or avatars that you're already preset and have already saved and you're loading a non-new Unity project, then you don't need to do this anymore. But if you are starting a new Unity project, just drag the VRC SDK in the plugins folder down into the assets area, wait for it to load, and you're finished there. Once that's done, you're all set. Once you're able to select and highlight your folders, you're all good. Now we need to locate our custom override so that we can add our emotes onto our avatar. So now what we need to do is go into the VRC SDK folder and click on examples, sample as, and then animations. And then you want to locate the custom override within this folder and then select it as you can see here. But you want to create a duplicate of this because this is an original. So you don't want to mess this up just in case you mess up one of these in the future. You can always go back here and refer to an original clean custom override for animations that you may be working on in the future. So keep this in mind. So what you're going to do is you're going to highlight the custom override. Once you highlight it, you're going to click control plus D. This will duplicate it. Now drag your newly created custom override to the left. As you can see here, pull it up and then put it into the assets area, which is perfectly fine. Now, if you haven't already added your emos folder, now would be a good time to do so. You want to drag the emos folder that you downloaded previously and place it here. Drag that custom override into the folder and you're all set. Once you've added your folder, you want to open it and select your custom override. Once you're here, you now want to start the process of adding your emotes to your avatar. So you want to select your custom override. And then you'll see a long list of options of about 36 to 40 bars of which you can add animations to custom or pre-made, whatever your choice may be. There's many slots for you to fill, but the only ones we're interested in right now are the ones where we're going to be adding our emotes as far as blinking, winking, smiling, etc. So we're going to take our animations in whatever order, it doesn't matter. We'll start off with finger point. So you'll see the animations here, emote one, emote two, emote three, emote four, emote five, etc., all the way to eight. And just below that, 
you'll see finger point, fist, handgun, hand open. Then you'll see idle and more under that. But the only ones we're gonna be focusing on right now are those four. Also, if you'd like to add more animations, just ignore the idle animation and then you can fill in more emotes down in the slots just below that. So it doesn't matter what order you drag these into, as long as you choose one, it doesn't matter what order you do. Just keep in mind that these are the slots that you are to put them in when you drag the emotes. Once you've selected whatever emote that you want in whatever slot, you're now finished. Now, select your avatar within the hierarchy on the left side if you haven't already added one. After selecting your avatar in the left side hierarchy, you then want to add a VRC descriptor. So select your avatar and then look to the right side of the screen and select add component. Type in VR or VRC, scroll down to VRC descriptor and then select it. You've now added a VRC descriptor. Once you've done this, you're pretty much set. Now what you need to do is reselect your avatar on the left side of the screen and then go down to your custom override. Take the custom override, click it one time. Don't let go of the mouse after you click it or it'll reopen the custom override window and you'll have to reselect your avatar. So just click and hold the left click and drag your custom override into your custom standing animation slot. After you do that, you're all finished. You don't need to do anything else from here. The only thing you need to do is upload the avatar. Select upload and publish, wait for it to finish, upload the avatar and you're all set. The only thing you need to do is check out the avatar that you've now newly uploaded into VRChat with newly added emotes. Once you get to VRChat, the only thing you need to do is check it. To do this, only thing you have to do is hold the shift button and press either F1, F2, F3, F4, etc. The F keys. And you should now have newly added emotes for you to use on your avatar from now on. Future Kai here. I forgot to mention that some of the emotes may not work properly because they are pre made emotes. They were already previously made and put onto random avatars. So you may not get the same result as you see here in the video. Okay guys and girls, that's gonna wrap things up for the tutorial. I hope it's been helpful to you. If you have any questions, make sure to leave your comments down below in the comment section. Also hit the like button. It helps out the channel and it also helps me to bring you more tutorials and videos like these. Well anyways you all, that's it for me. Until next time, this has been K7. I hope you all enjoy using your now usable emotes in VRChat. Take care. See you guys next time.